everyone, it is Tanya. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another speed build. Today I'm actually building a community lot. This is going to be a bar slash restaurant. I make sure to include everything you need for both of those lot types so that way you could play as either of them if you prefer it to be just a bar or just a restaurant. So I made sure to include a kitchen space, the waiter stations, everything you would need there as well as a fully functional bar. So I really hope you will enjoy this build. I'm calling it the Old Dog Pub because it is inspired by a very specific sign that came in Cats and Dogs Debug or Shalivita Objects that has a like older looking dog on it. And I just think it is so cute. It's been on my list to do for a while. I think it was a suggestion from one of y'all to do something inspired by that sign. So I finally got around to it and I made this cute little restaurant down here by the water in Brindleton Bay. If you do like this build and you'd like to download it, it will be available on the Sims 4 gallery. You can find it under my EA ID, which is Griffey, G-R-Y, P-H-I. You can also find it under the hashtag Miss Griffey and that information will also be in the description down below as well. Here is that sign I was talking about. It's just so cute. So I ended up using that and scaling it up a little bit with tool. And I was actually really excited about the roof here because this is one of the very few roof textures we have where it shows the texture on the bottom side of the roof as well. So I actually ended up pulling that across in the front of the build and having the columns rise all the way up to meet that roof. I think it ends up having a really cool roof line and uh, I was quite happy with it. So right here, I'm going through debug and looking at all of the fence options and all of the little decor pieces that I might want to use, some umbrellas and like planters and all of that sort of stuff. Just trying to figure out what would make this space look the way I was going to want to make it look. I really wanted this to look super rustic and lots of wood tones, like the entire place is made out of wood and there's all sorts of knickknacks all over the walls. I just wanted it to look really cozy and full of personality, so I hope I did achieve that. I know around me there's a lot of restaurants where the walls are absolutely covered in signs and paintings and just like clutter and stuff, so I was very much inspired by that, so that is what you'll be seeing on the inside of this build. Let me know if you have restaurants like that where you're from. Is that a familiar idea? I have no idea if it's everywhere or not or just my particular area. But anyway, on the outside here, I'm trying to figure out some tables. I chose these ones because they actually have a hole in the middle for an umbrella. And I thought about using this one umbrella I grabbed at first, but I decided to go with the ones from my wedding stories instead because they have closed options which I just think adds so much more variety to the outside. I really like how that looks. So I have three of them that are closed and one that is open and I just really liked it. Uh, something about that makes me really happy. I remember when I first found those, when my wedding stories first came out, I was very excited about it. I also put a boat over on the other side of this lot. It is right on the water. So I thought that that would be a cute decoration. And there just ends up being a lot of stuff all over this lot, which I really enjoyed. I also raised up some of these debug planters into these other debug pots uh, to fill up that space. And I just think it looks so nice. A lot of the stuff that I'm using on this lot is from high school years, like the various buckets and things on the outside. I also used a little statue from Cats and Dogs that has a dog like smelling a butterfly. I thought it was really cute. And some of these string lights as well. Those originally come with the toddler stuff pack, but they're available in high school years debug as well. So I did grab those and then I decided instead of an actual fence, I was going to use this decorative piece, which comes with, I believe it's from Get Famous. It's supposed to look like part of one of the pirate ships. And I just thought it looked really cool and unique here. And since I was going for a kind of old, unique wooden pub, <laughs> that is something I decided to grab. And then I'm inside now trying to figure out essentially how I want it to be laid out. I knew the room with all the windows, I wanted it to be a dining space and I wanted to have the kitchen down here. Uh, so I'm just trying to figure out the best way to lay that out. So this is where the kitchen ends up being. And then upstairs is just like a bar and more seating. And down here, I just have a couple of tables, like the waiter station, also the host station when you first walk in and a bathroom as well. Just trying to figure out how to make two chef stations fit into this kitchen. I actually ended up blocking off a little portion of that space that's unusable, but I thought it looked better that way. So I was happy about it. Uh, it's a very small, small restaurant, small bar, but I think it fits the small town vibes that I get from Brindleton Bay. 
and I just love this location down on the pier. This is normally where there's a saloon anyway. It's the Salty Paws Saloon, so not too much of a different name, the Old Dog Pub, but <laughs> I thought it was so cute. And so just getting some railings on the stairs over here. I also thought about changing them, but I really liked the look of the more industrial stairs, the metal stairs going against all of the wood that I end up putting in this space. I end up having all wood walls in here too, a few different ones. I wanted some variety. Here are those waiter stations and the host station when you first walk in. And then I opted for this door, even though it was a little bit short. <laughs> I just moved the menu up above it and I felt like that helped with the height of that space. And I actually used these tables, which are from Journey to Batu, because I love them. They're a picnic bench, but it looks like all of the little seats are separate and they're like these cute little stools. And I don't know, it just fit the vibe I wanted for this bar perfectly. And of course, I used the bar that came with the werewolves pack because it has a don't pee on this bar sign on it, which is hilarious because I named this the Old Dog Pub. I guess this particular space could be a very useful bar to place down in the world that comes with uh, werewolves as well. I'm not exactly sure where you'd place it, but I feel like it could fit nicely. It's just, it wouldn't be on a pier like this or on like a little dock space. Uh, but I think it could fit there nicely as well with all of the wood tones and little nods. I have two werewolves, even though it's not specifically a werewolf bar. Uh, this is where I'm starting to clutter up the inside. I grab so much stuff. I have the new fishing decorations. We got some bo boats and random plaques and like wanted signs and some of this like pub stuff that came with Cottage Living. I also made sure to get little lanterns and menus on all of the tables. Some of them have some clutter from various sims that might be actually here at the moment. So we have like some dirty cups and like a journal, a phone and keys. We have a couple of rugs throughout to make it look a little cozier in here. And I just keep adding things to the walls. Upstairs is super cluttered as well. And I was really going for having the walls completely covered in stuff. And I'm so happy with how it came out. I love decorating this kind of thing in The Sims. And uh, it was just really fun to do a community lot for once. I know I don't do them that much on the channel because generally speaking, I enjoy decorating homes a lot more. But every once in a while, it's really nice to do something like this. It's really refreshing. So let me know if there's any other community lots you'd like to see on the channel. I would love to make that happen sometime soon. Uh, but yeah, just adding some more clutter over here. I love this little sign from the holiday pack. And we have a couple of wreaths throughout. Lots of chalkboards that I was thinking probably have some funny sayings on them or some menus on them. I just wanted it to be full of personality. The whole space probably is a little bit old and a little bit run down, but for the most part, it's probably a very happening space in town. And that's definitely what I was going for. But I do have some cracks and tears throughout that I'm placing down now just to add a little bit more character to the space. Uh, so this is that more private dining space for a bigger table. I just put six chairs here. I could have fit eight, but I didn't really want to. And there's not as much art in here because I really wanted to put this giant painting of the dogs playing Don't Wake the Llama. It's just such a cute piece and it felt like the right spot to put that. So just getting a lantern in here, a couple more menus. I also have some lights hanging down from the ceiling that are made out of mason jars in there, which is quite nice. And then we're heading upstairs to decorate this space. And then I'll go back downstairs to do the bathroom and the kitchen. But I was kind of in the swing of decorating the dining area. So it made sense to come up here and continue that. So just getting some blinds all over the place and then figuring out how I want to decorate the walls as well as getting all of the same decorations on the tables uh, for the most part, like lanterns and our little menu pieces. Although one of these tables, I actually get rid of the lantern and I put an actual table lamp on because I thought it was cute. And I think it's kind of fun to maybe that one broke. So they replaced it with a different piece of uh, furniture they had, the, the different lamp that they had. So I thought that that was kind of fun. Uh, I do think this is a very small town. Only one of these exists. It's not really a chain place. So there is that lamp I was talking about. That one's from Outdoor Retreat. It's definitely got that woodsy vibe we were going for in here. So uh, yeah, just getting some more decorations up here. I used a couple of the posters from Cool Kitchen. I thought that they were kind of funny. Uh, so got those, lots of random frames. We have some like coffee supplies, carved hearts, and just all sorts of stuff. I was just scrolling through the menu and seeing what I thought would look nice here and rearranging it as I saw fit. And 
I love doing these kind of like feature walls. It's it's not like a feature wall in the sense of having a different color on the wall, but it's a feature wall that is a collage wall. And I, I think it looks really cool in the end. I also used another Batu piece over here with that uh, that plant in the corner. I ended up using that out front as well a little bit later. I should be grabbing that. And I enjoyed some of the decals I put on the wall. I put that one over there uh, from high school years. And I believe over on this side of the wall, I'll be grabbing one from the industrial loft kit as well. And I used one out the back of the building on one of the sides that didn't have as much decoration on it. But you can see how busy that wall got. I think it looks really cool. And then I just got like another lantern and menu over here on the bar. You can see that don't pee on the bar sign, which I think is just like a funny thing to have there. And uh, yeah, just moving some of the decorations around here, trying to figure out the best way to have it. I do end up moving some of them around as well because I decided to get that wall piece that came with werewolves that has the wolf on it that's uh, like in front of the newspapers. I'm grabbing it here now. And so I didn't want it to be completely covered, but I still wanted some of these pieces over here. So just rearranging it so you can see that. But we solved the menu and the TV and I moved some of these paintings over on this side. Uh, I also was trying to figure out what to put next to the jukebox, but I definitely wanted to have that as a music option in here. Plus having some sort of stereo in the lot was a requirement of one or both of the lot types. I'm not entirely sure. And the TV was a requirement for the bar lot. So I wanted to <laughs> include that. And then up here, we just have a couple of tables up on the upper balcony. And I got some plants over in these little barrels. And uh, I believe a rug as well out front, as well as one downstairs by the front door. I think it looks so cozy. There's so many different options for your Sims on where they want to sit. I feel like this would be a fun hangout space. I don't know like what sort of dates you would go on here if you bring a Sim for a date, but like I think it could be a lot of fun and it's definitely got a lot of character. Definitely let me know what you think of this build and if you've been to any place like this before in real life. I was drawing from mostly inspiration from like places I've been, but also just going for a rustic vibe and playing around and grabbing items that I thought would look nice together. And I was also testing the lighting outside here <laughs> to make sure you could see at night. And uh, then this is going to be the only bathroom. I did use this tile flooring. It's a linoleum flooring. I think one of them is base game and the other one might be from a pack because it's a little bit more run down. But I really liked the sink I used in here, which is from Laundry Day. It's got the exact vibes I was going for. We have a towel dispenser as well as hand sanitizer, all of the stuff you would want to have in a public restroom. I love those items. They came with get to work, I'm pretty sure. And it's really weird when I'm not building with get to work, not putting those because it's kind of gross to think of just like an actual fabric towel in a public space like that. So I like to add the paper towels in this space. And then I got some more Batu in here. I apologize if you don't have Journey to Batu. It worked really well for this build. So I just have a vent over there, a couple more paintings. And I believe I put like a little storage cabinet over here as well. And our cleaning supplies too. I believe there's a broom in here and a vacuum cleaner. And that's pretty much it for this bathroom. I think it came out cute. Obviously, we have a very wooden bathroom, the wood walls, and we have uh, some more signage in here. Like, this is how you leave and beware of fires. <laughs> so uh, it was just a lot of fun to put all of the signage all over this space. I had a blast with it. The kitchen has a little bit of like excess decor, but Definitely not as much as the rest of the space because it is so small and I needed to fit in the cooking stations. Actually, right here, I'm noticing the door is like overlapping one of those. Uh, hopefully, I realize that and move it over. If not, I will make sure it is moved over before I upload this to the gallery. But you can see the door is kind of clipping in right now. But uh, I did get a fire extinguisher in here as a decorative piece. And then I also do end up placing down the like fire control system in this build so that way you don't have to worry about your sims whole restaurant you know catching fire so i don't think i moved it over look at me decorating and not realizing oh that's really sad i i will make sure to fix that <laughs> oh it's funny how little things like that you just don't notice while you're decorating uh, but anyway that's pretty much it for this build here i am adding that fire control system and a couple last pieces of decoration before we head on into screenshots I really hope you enjoyed this build. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. That really does help me out. You can also subscribe to the channel if you have not already and click that bell to be notified of every single time I upload a new video. 
Thank you so very much for watching. Let me know what other community lot builds you'd like to see on the channel, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye, everyone. Mm -hmm.